Hello everyone, welcome to the third tutorial of the series Learning AutoCAD 2013. In today's session, you will see how to enter numerical data using different ways into AutoCAD. We will basically discuss the four main ways to enter values in CAD and how to respond to the different commands when AutoCAD prompts you to enter data. In our previous tutorial, we explain how to set up the units of measurement and basically in this tutorial you will see how to enter those units of measurement based on the units you selected using different ways to do that. Let's go ahead now and let's move to our new drawing so we can see what we've been talking about. And basically when drawing many commands require you to enter specific numerical data. Let's see the difference now. Let's go to the first command, command line, and see what AutoCAD asks you to do. When you hit line, the first question AutoCAD prompts you, specify first point. Any point in the space is okay. You might randomly choose a point, as in this case now, or you might want to specify a point in space based on the Cartesian coordinate system. Now let's see uh, a different command. When you hit circle, now it's not asking you about the first uh, line. Now it says specify center point for circle or give you three point, two point, uh, tangent, tangent, radius, so options, other different options. So you see the first prompt is not the same one. When you go to the polygon command, in this case, the first thing AutoCAD asks you is entered number of sides but actually what you need to do is specify there the number of sides when you right click or hit enter uh, six is already accepted and the second thing is if you want it inscribed or circumscribed which means outside or inside a circumference or a circle basically you can see the difference when autocad prompts you when you use different commands it's not always the same so you should uh, basically enter that information in four different ways. The, the first of those different ways is the absolute coordinate entry system, which in this case you can see there in parentheses is associated with a pound or a number symbol, relative, polar, or direct entry, which is also known as a click entry, uh, direct entry in space. Okay, let's see the difference. When I hit the command line, let's see how it works, the absolute coordinate entry system. It's requiring for you to specify the first point. If I use the one comma one, as is in this case, look at uh, the screen. When you hit enter, now you can see that it snaps somewhere. Exactly when you look at it, you see that it snapped add one unit in the x direction and one unit in the y direction and you might have said well yeah i already know that yes you'll see now the difference that's called absolute coordinate entry and it's called like that because it's based in the origin point which is your 0 comma 0 or the point where by default the ucs uh, is snapped to 0 comma 0 so you could use or put any point in space and draw lines in between those points. For example, right now, I'm going to choose a different point in space and because the line command is still active, it's going to snap to the other point drawing a line. How can I do that? Okay, first of all, I told you that the number symbol is associated with absolute coordinate system so you chose number and then the values in this case i use three comma one which means three in the uh, x direction one in the y direction and actually that means that based on the zero comma zero or our origin is three and one but now let's use the same values and see how it work not specifying the symbol of number you see i use that one the same three comma one but a very different result why 
because by default, after the first point, AutoCAD switches from absolute to relative. In this case, relative is associated with the add symbol, which means that AutoCAD is referencing or using as the origin the previous point. So the last point you selected, when you select a different set of numbers, 0, 0,2 or 2.6, the last point is the one you selected. Let's see now how you see here that this point that I'm uh, pointing at is the negative 1, comma, negative 1. So uh, how could I get there? Okay. If I'm going to use absolute coordinate system or entry, I use this number symbol and then negative one, comma, negative one. And when you hit enter, you see that it, it snaps automatically to that point. So basically, this means that when you're going to use the absolute coordinate entry system, you need to associate it. Use first the number symbol. Otherwise, after the first point, AutoCAD switches automatically to relative coordinate system. You can see here that there are four quadrants in space and X and Y are different uh, negative or positive based on what quadrant you are. I have it here clearly defined for you. Uh, in this left bottom quadrant is both or negative. The uh, right top is uh, both or uh, positive and so on and so forth. You can see it there. Let's uh, get rid of this now. And again, this is only applicable if you're using absolute coordinate entry system. So basically, uh, we already have been talking about absolute coordinate entry. And whenever you want to use that specific system, you need to specify the uh, number symbol. Not the case with relative coordinate entry, which after the first click is activated by default, but it is associated with the add symbol. The other system is the polar coordinate entry. And you only use it when you want to draw at a specific angle, or let's say 22, 45 degrees angle. So how do you do that? Well, actually, first of all, you select, as you can see here, a specific length. Let's say in this case, it was two. And after that, look at the command line. I use the less than symbol. And after using the less than symbol, you input the 45 degree, which is the one that is this uh, this line has been drawn at. Now let's verify it is at 45 degree. Just by sight, you can look at it and see it's 45 degree. But just to make sure, you can see there is 45 degree angle. Let's go ahead and, and repeat how it is done. When you want to do it, first of all, you use the length of the segment or the line. I'm going to use now line, specify first point, this point. Now I enter the value or the length for that. I want it to be six. You hit enter. And after you hit enter, it's not defined where. You need to enter the less than symbol. In this case, after you enter the less than symbol, when I enter 45 and hit enter, by default, that six uh, line segment is uh, draw at 45 degree angle. How AutoCAD interprets the angles from the zero point toward the left. So counterclockwise, you, you have here a diagram how is calculated the degrees. It doesn't mean that you uh, can do it the other way. You can go to the variables in AutoCAD and specify that it should turn the other way, but by default, it's counterclockwise. Now let's see, uh, a, I already draw a line of two at 45, and you see it there. Now I want to do the same, I, I wanna get the same result, and this shows a very uh, important feature in AutoCAD. And when I'm going to specify the angle, see, I'm going to use 405 degree angle. And you know that a, you know, a circle has 360, but that means that AutoCAD add 360 plus 45, which is 405, and gave me the same result. It basically calculated a full revolution, a full circle plus 45, which is 405, and gives you the right amount. And the same happens with the negative value. If I here input, 
a 360 minus uh, 45 and I use that value as a negative value is going to give me the same results. Basically you can specify a negative value also and AutoCAD will draw it for you. Now let's talk about how AutoCAD uses fractional and decimal values when you're entering information or numbers in this case. I want to enter a circle and I'm, the first thing is uh, specify the radius of the circle and I'm going to put look at the line 1.5 that's my 1.5 circle and now the second one I want to get the same result but I don't want to use a fractional I'm putting one hyphen one forward slash two which means one and a half and I get the same result so basically you can see that AutoCAD gives you the same exact result with two different systems an important detail on this is that you cannot use the space bar but a hyphen. If you use a space bar, it will end up the command and will accept the first number you input. And the same applies to the architectural units. When you're using it, you need to use the hyphen to separate the fit symbol from the inches in your measurements. However, although you need to tell AutoCAD that you're using feet by entering the feet symbol, you don't need to do so with the inches symbol. If you're using architectural units, any number you enter in AutoCAD means by default inches. So you can get the same result by just using numbers. Instead of using 1 foot 6 inches, I'm going to use here 18 only which means inches by the way and actually we're going to obtain the same result just have the precaution that when differentiating between a whole number and its fraction or when specifying between feet and inches you need to use you have to use the hyphen instead of the spacebar now let's wrap up today's uh, lesson we'll learn how to use the different entry methods in CAD absolute relative and polar the one that we didn't comment about is the direct entry method and you can see here an example of how to use it we didn't comment much about it because it's pretty simple and it's the most used and we will see later how to combine this all together at this point you should be able to start drafting so i'm taking you here pause the video Get the measurements and try to draft on your own this desk. If you have any doubts, please feel free to post and also remember to like the video if you learn from it. Now again, thanks for watching and see you next time.